All right, so let's. Um, can I say one thing? You the can say whatever you I like. Was, huh? You can say whatever the you like. This I is your. You're on the spotlight. I know. I know. <laughs> um, the more we told our friends and family, the better and easier it got. You know because. And I and I we were so pleasantly surprised that honestly we had absolutely wonderful response, you know, and understanding after you know about the situation. And uh, because really we didn't, like I said, know anybody else. At least we thought we didn't know anybody else. But there were a lot of closeted um, gays that we did know or knew of um, that we have since found out. But people come to us and have come to us from the get-go. I mean, uh, whenever they had a gay issue or something with one of their children. Do you feel like you have a doctorate in gay? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just feel like a, a mother who loves her child or children. Speaking and, of children. Huh? Speaking of children. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in the other child. What was it like? Well. What, what happened? I wasn't there for this. I was, you weren't there? I was off somewhere and a little birdie told you or did you hear it from from, from Laura? From the source? From the source. The source. So the source told us. The source, Laura Burner. What happened was I was, you know, trying, like I said, to get informa gather information anywhere I could um, about, a gay, you know, homosexuality. And I, my daughter, Laura, tells me that I kind of drove her crazy for those first months or whatever. Um, Maybe it was years. I don't know now. It's years, old. two years, and three months. What? Nothing. Anyway, um, she said we kind of drove her crazy, her crazy, because I was constantly calling her and asking her different things about you and, you know, explain this or whatever. And got to thinking one day, you know, Laura hadn't been dating men. And I don't know. I just, I don't know what, a light went off in my head. My gosh. Okay, wait. Before, before Laura becomes a lesbian, let's, um, let's try to feel what it would be like being Laura during this time where she's got a brother that's just come out gay, has stolen all of the family's attention because I brought to surface this issue that the whole Dallas gay Jewish community was talking about. Thank you very much. Um, um, how do you think that affected Laura? I don't understand when you say that she had stolen the... I didn't steal. I mean, I stole. I basically took a lot of your time so the 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 focus the focus was on me during that time. Let's. You were the gossip of the town. Oh yeah, everybody wanted to know. I mean, everyone wanted, everyone wanted a piece of me. The club. You know, in those early months and maybe up to a year, till something else happened to somebody else and that took over. But um, it you were the talk, or we and we but, would feel it when we walked into the club. Uh, at times, the people were whispering. I don't know. It could the, have been our imagination. What, the Columbian Club? Yeah. Oh. But honestly... Um, it wasn't your imagination. Everybody was talking about it. Right. So... How you had given birth to a gay son. <laughs> 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 All right, so the, the question was, how do you think this affected your daughter, who was having conflicting feelings already about herself and having to answer all these questions about this gay brother and I said it was bothering her a great deal and I felt so guilty when I, it finally just dawned on me maybe 
you know, I need to say something. And I said to her, Laura, one night, this is one day, one night, I don't remember exactly when, I said, sweetheart, you know, I've been asking you and bugging you with all these questions and looking for answers and, you know, are, I want you to know that if you feel that you are gay, I don't want you to be afraid that we can't handle it. So, you know, and I'm thinking all the time, surely she's not gay. But just in case, you know, I want you to feel comfortable and to tell us. And she said, well, I am gay. And of course, <laughs> Ta -da. it was hard and, you know, you asked. After, after... You should uh, never have asked, and she still would be straight. That's right. <laughs> but, actually, um... So, do you think that you have gay eggs, or Dad has gay sperm? I don't know. We can't figure it out. Because someone's but, responsible for this. That's right. It's got... <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. It was you. I, I definitely feel like it's... Straight people make gay babies. I has anything to do with it, personally. I think it has to do with genetics, and I have no idea where it came from in our family, because nobody that I know of in our family that I know of, you know, was gay. But um, well, I know someone that's gay. Who? Well, you know I'm it. not gonna out you. <laughs> okay. In our family. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I won't go there, but. I felt very guilty about Laura, you know, since I, you know, had really burdened her with all this questions and talk about you when she was struggling in her own right, you know, so anyway. All right, so you've got two gay kids. Yes. Where does one go from there? Where does a mother, like, at this point, you are so different from everyone around you. You don't have no, you're, you are pretty. You are pretty much the flagship in your community of a couple that has two out of two. I mean, that's a hundred percent odds right there. Yes, I know. You feel special. Special. <laughs> it's it's hard. That's the. The hard part is that, and I hope someday that both of you will settle down because I don't think anybody should live their life alone. Uh, it's just, I strongly believe that. So and my hope for both of you is that you find that special person and that you can, you know, have a, a wonderful life together. It's, I think it's very lonesome to be alone, especially as you age. So uh, you know what's but what's weird about your comment is that I've been in relationships before, where I've felt more alone than I do as a single man right now. So I want to agree with you and say, yeah, it would be nice to have a partner, but up till now, I've never felt as comfortable as I do now as a single man. Well, I think maybe you're just, you're overall, you're happy right now. I mean, you're finding some success in, in a business that you seem to be enjoying, and, you know, you have new things going on. But I promise you, it's nicer to have somebody to share it with. And, um, I don't know. Just, I think you're right. I, I believe you. I mean, I mean I, Dad and I both had our problems with our health you know, recent, in recent years, and uh, I, I don't know what I would have done without your dad, and, and I'm sure vice versa. I think but. being gay, um, it, it teaches us that we have to build our own families amongst ourselves, and so we've created a home with our, our fellows. Right. So it is a little bit different. No, and I um, can see be, meeting all your friends that, you know, it gives me peace of mind that they are so wonderful.